So, as I was saying that uh, uh, we will be discussing about the availability of the head. On this basis, as we say, that we have three different type of plants, which is called the low, medium and high. We have three different types of plants, low, medium and high. Low are below 30 meters. They are above 300 meters are known as high head plant and below 30 meters are known as the low head plants and between them are called the medium head plants that is called 30 to 300 meters. So we can extend our discussion over here such that we can have a classification in between of the plants which is called low medium and high and the high head plants. So normally in the terminology which is called the such tank is not used in the low head plants. No such tanks are not there. What is called a such tank? <coughs> Such tank. I have a dam behind that water is filled and it is coming through a pen stock and the water is getting here. So before this, before the water is getting the entry into the station or my generating plant actually there is a tank above it just before the intake what is the use of this intake what is the use of this such tank it is filled with water see during the load reduction period when the load on the generator is suddenly thrown off, the load on the generator is suddenly uh, decreases. It decreases the load and it decreases the uh, requirement of the load on the uh, turbine part. As we have seen that uh, when there is an increase in the load, then the, it will be coming out from the mechanical part. We have seen that in uh, electrical, material, uh, electrical machines. So uh, from that we can understand that the, when the, there is a load rejection period, the uh, load reduction period in the load reduction period the uh, reduction will be actually reflecting into the mechanical part also so that the turbine will uh, try to close its gates when the turbine will be trying to close its gates then the water coming from here will be having a hard pressure and it will be pressing this pen stock and if this pen, uh, pen stock is not able to withstand the uh, pressure hammers of the water then it will explode Otherwise, for the, uh, that, there is a stamp which is actually um, provided just before the intake of the turbine such that uh, there, during the load reduction, it collects the water back and it fills, get fills in, in so that there is a very less pressure on this pen stock. There is a very much less pressure on this pen stock during the load rejection period. During the, uh, when the load requirement is high, suddenly the uh, load requirement is high and in the pen stock is not able to withstand that much of uh, pressure uh, and that much of water is not coming from the pen stock. What happens? Uh, the, tur the turbine will try to move fast and it will uh, expand its gate. So the water requirement of the uh, turbine will be very much high at that time. So that water is now furnished from this surge tank. So surge tank works in for both the purpose whenever there is a load rejection. Then also it is uh, taking its uh, the extra water and when there is a uh, load in increase in the load then it is providing the water. But 
when we talk about the low plants, it doesn't require a such time because the uh, forebay or the pen stock is very much small and the uh, electricity generation is very much small. So normally uh, the load increase in the load is not much, uh, not very much uh, affecting the uh, turbine and it is not uh, affecting the actually the pen stock. So normally in low plants, uh, the, the pen stock is not acting due to one, it's an open one normally. So normally such tanks are not using low head plants. Here, yeah, uh, we'll be discussing that in a, uh, in a better way also, but for the uh, sake of understanding, we'll be using the types of turbine here. But the types of turbine used normally here are called the Francis, Propeller and Kaplan. F stands for Francis, or I can write them. Francis, Propeller and Kaplan. These type of turbines are used in the low head plants, which are actually the reaction type of turbine. We will see that, uh, but we will not discuss that here, we will discuss them in a uh, different manner. So, uh, from just now we can understand that the Francis propeller and Kaplan type of turbine are used in low head plants. When coming to medium head plants, medium head plants have the four bay. What is four bay on? As we have seen there, the the, there is a such tank when required during the load reduction and load increase period, acceptance period. So rather than using this load reduction here, I have I can have an arrangement here also that this is my dam and before that this is my head, I have a tank over here. This is called a four way, which is just before the intake of my pen stock. This is all the intake before my <coughs> turbine. So there is a difference between the such tank and the four way. They both are using, both are working for the same purpose that during the addition of the water, they furnish the additional water when required and they kept, keep uh, the water for when the load duration is there. So, these are actually working in the same way, but for medium plants, the such tank will not be that much of. Uh, uh, here, the such tank will not work properly, so that may be possible that the requirement of the water may be high. So, rather than using such tank, we will be using a four bay just before the intake and the intake of the pen stock that is important. And such tank are normally used intake of the turbine. So, both are working at the same way, four way and the search tank. Here, for search tank is used, and here, the four way is used. Coming to another part, which is called the high head plant. Here, also, three different type of plants, propeller and Kaplan type of turbines are used. Here, in coming to here, when here the search tanks are required. Here the search tanks are very much required. Uh, they can be in conjunction with the four bay also, and uh, requirement to, uh, according to the requirement, they can have a four bay also plus a uh, search tank. Here also, uh, according to the requirement, we can have a four bay also plus search tank or the search tank alone or the four bay alone. Here also, the search tank will be there. That is for sure. But four bay is there or not? That is for uh, that is dependent upon the type of the load, type of the fluctuation in the load. If there is no uh, frequent fluctuation in the load and a very large fluctuation in the load, then uh, such a four way will not be used. But when there is a very slightly change in the load condition, then the search tank will be there. When there is a large fluctuation in the load, then the four way will be used. So here the search tanks are normally used. Uh, and in the search tank, we have been discussed the search tank, what the search tank is, and that is 
just before the turbine enters and when the plant is more than 300 meters these are using actually the impulse type of turbine which is called as a Pelton wheel this is very important regarding objective type of question this thing important this thing important this is also important this is also important this is also important this is also important so this six seven things which are written over here are very important regarding the objective type of question but the Pelton wheel if, uh, is used when it is more than 300 meters and the Pelton wheel is a type of impulse turbine we will be discussing in a short while so the type of the turbine which is used here is Pelton wheel when the head of the plow is more than 300 meters and below 300 meters we are always using transverse propeller and Kepler that is to be remembered that is very much essential over here so <coughs> Coming to the, the terminology of the hydroelectric plants. Terminology of the hydroelectric plants. So, we know what is reservoir. First, we know what is actually the reservoir. Reservoir is the storage of the water which where we will be storing our water second thing which will be coming is called the head we have discussed the head also we are discussing all this thing in under the heading which is called the parts of hydropower plants or we can say the terminology of the hydroelectric plants apart from that we have head for head we have the construction of the dam Apart from that, uh, one more thing comes. So, uh, literally, I can have the dam. This is my dam, and this is the water available behind the in the reservoir actually in the reservoir, and this water will be actually coming out of this. Okay, and here. One thing is required before the entry into the pen stock is called the trash rack. <coughs> trash rack. If we have the suppose this is my conduit or this is my pen stock actually. So here at this point, so if I am able to see this the uh, inside the pen stock from here, there is a steel wires or steel rash over here which is placed just before the inter in the pen stock and this is a steel wire and this is my actual conduit or the pen stock so this steel wire are placed horizontally Horizontally such that no extra, no uh, uh, wastage, any polythene or kind of those uh, which will be actually restricting the uh, blocking, uh, which will be actually blocking the uh, turbine uh, nozzles. So anything which is not required apart from water, apart from uh, water will not be able to pass this and it will not be able to come into it. So this is actually a uh, trash rack which is actually restricting the debris material to uh, getting entry into the pen stock. Trash rack is very important and they are used horizontally. Please remember that. <coughs> so coming to another part which is called the four way which we have already discussed. So before the dam, I can have a four way here, and if water available over here is this much, I can have a four way over here. And before that, my water is there here, I can have a four way here also. And of this, I can have a four way over here. This is the four way of mine, 
Okay. We have discussed the search tank also. Please remember uh, the, uh, the places which they are used. The four page used just before that uh, dam. And my search tank will be somewhat near the station. It will be somewhat be here on the just before the station or my turbine. This is my turbine, this is my search tank. So water is coming from here also and here also and here also. Water may be the requirement. So what is the use we have of the search tank is we have already discussed that it controls the pressure variation of the water and uh, the pressure variation of the pen stroke. So what is pen stroke? We have also seen that pen stroke are of two types, one is the closed one and one, another is the conduit type. So uh, depending on the flow of the water, depending on the requirement of the flow of water, the pen strokes are used. One more thing uh, is very important in this. This is called as the uh, spill day. Suppose here my maximum permissible limit of the water in the dam is this much. This is my maximum permissible limit. If during the rainy season, I am uh, collecting a lot of water and if it crosses the maximum permissible limit of the water, what happens? If somewhat, I am having this red area which is the uh, uh, extra water which is coming into uh, the dam. So, my dam may not be able to withstand that much of pressure because uh, the pressure head of the water is very much high. And apart from the maximum height, the dam is designed for the maximum height. And if the water is coming more than the maximum height, uh, that may damage the dam. And damage by damaging, it means that the dam may collapse. And uh, if the dam collapses, the, the huge water will be flowing into approximately 100 kilometers or more than that. And that will be actually disturbing the uh, living environment over there. So that is very much hazardous. So, for that, one more arrangement is there that when the water is more, there is a spill bed before the intake of the water here, such that the water, extra water, goes into the spillway and it will be actually working as the safety valve for the dam. So, actually, spillway are the safety valves. They are actually working as the safety valve for the dams. So we should understand, we should uh, remember spillway is just before the dam, not after the dam. It is no, it is it will not be of any use if it is after the dam. It is before the dam, it is actually uh, give uh, passing the extra water which is coming into the dam and which is not required beyond the maximum permissible limit. Spillway are before the dams. Please remember that again. Uh, last thing which is coming into the picture of this is seventh part is called the <coughs> tail race. What is called tail race? The water which is coming out of the turbine and flowing into the stream towards the uh, river is called the tail race. Means the water which is coming from here is called the tail race and it's actually the waterway towards the river. Turbine to the river is called the waterway towards the river. That is called the tail race.